Welcome to Sleep and Wellness, the impact of insufficient sleep, part of the Healthy Sleep, Healthy Life series. I'm Dr. Lawrence Epstein. Insufficient sleep increases the risk for developing a number of health problems. Health risks that increase with sleep loss include obesity, high blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes, and depression. The risk for workplace and automobile accidents also increases. It's clear that regularly getting insufficient sleep can lead to a shorter lifespan. So let's take a closer look at the health problems that can be caused by insufficient sleep. The amount of sleep that you get has an impact on your weight control. The less sleep you get, the more likely you are to gain weight and develop obesity. Sleep deprivation affects the production of two hormones that are involved with weight control. One hormone, ghrelin, makes you feel hungry, while another hormone, leptin, makes you feel full. When you don't get enough sleep, ghrelin levels rise, increasing your hunger, while leptin levels decline, leaving you feeling less satisfied by your last meal. When you sleep less, you eat more, leading to weight gain. Poor sleep can lead to other serious illnesses. The lack of rest for the heart from insufficient sleep or from a sleep disorder leads to a number of heart problems. For example, the less you sleep, the greater your risk of developing high blood pressure, which increases your risk for heart disease and stroke. Insufficient sleep also increases your risk of developing calcification or blockages in the blood vessels of the heart, increasing the risk of death from a heart attack. Sleep deprivation also has a negative impact on metabolism and hormone production, increasing your risk of developing diabetes. The less sleep you get, the more likely you are to develop diabetes, which increases your risk of heart disease, stroke, and kidney failure. There also is a bi-directional or two-way link between sleep and mood. People who have depression and anxiety are likely to complain that they have insomnia. In fact, having trouble with sleep is part of the clinical definition of depression and anxiety. But surprisingly, the link also works in the other direction. Insomnia increases your risk of developing depression or anxiety down the road. Insomnia can also worsen your mood problems when they do occur. The good news is that improving sleep also improves mood. Treating insomnia can lead to reductions in depression and anxiety symptoms. Poor sleep, or the presence of a sleep disorder, also increases the risk of injury from work-related accidents. In one study of construction workers, the highest predictor of injury on the job was the presence of a sleep disorder. When all of these negative factors are combined, it's no surprise that sleep affects the length of your life. Reduced health, increased diseases, and higher rates of accidents and injury all contribute to reduced survival. Bottom line, shorter sleep times increase the risk of early death and a shorter life. So, what are the best ways to improve health and wellness? Clearly, getting sufficient sleep on a regular basis is an important factor. Make sure you meet your sleep needs by getting seven or more hours of good quality sleep. Talk to a doctor if you have an ongoing sleep problem and interferes with your ability to get good quality sleep. Although sleep is essential, it's not the only factor that contributes to health and wellness. You also need to focus on the other pillars of good health. Eat well and maintain a healthy weight, get regular exercise, and avoid smoking. To help you get good sleep, remember these three steps. Ready, set, go to sleep. How do you get ready for sleep? Live a healthy lifestyle create a sleep-friendly bedroom, and bring an end to the activities of the day that you can wind down and start preparing for sleep. Next, get set for sleep by creating and following a pre-sleep routine, reducing light exposure, and relaxing before you go to bed. Finally, go to sleep by developing healthy sleep habits. Go to bed and wake up at the same times every day, use your bed only for sleep at intimacy, and get out of bed if you're unable to fall asleep. If you are following the ready, set, go to sleep principles, and you are still having problems, you may have a sleep disorder. Talk to your doctor, who may refer you to a board-certified sleep medicine physician for help, and to get better sleep.